if you're a plant, what people think is filth is your food, isn't it so? Hello? If you are a plant, if you are a tree, what other people think is filth, isn't it your food? So, lotus thrives on it. What is filth is only in the human mind, isn't it? Huh? This happened very wonderfully. I was teaching a program in a village in Tamil Nadu, way back, maybe twenty-seven, twenty-six, twenty-seven years ago, in a small village called Velaidupalyam. <laughs> I enjoyed those cute villages teaching very simple people, but they are the people who stood like pillars for the foundation to grow. <laughs> So, I was teaching them at that time Shunya program and I'm talking about how when you meditate, when you go beyond a certain level of relaxation, if you don't come out and become active, once again the blood will try to push back the impurities into the cellular level. This is like you gave so much filth to the municipality in the last one year and you did not pay your taxes. So, the municipality decides ten loads of filth, they will put it in your house today and go because that's what has come from your house. So, if they do like this, what will you do? In one voice they said, why look potokoro? That means, they said, we will use it in the paddy fields. <laughs> I, I just poof, got stuck for a moment. This is an example which is working wonderfully well in the city when I'm speaking in English language <laughs> and I'm talking to people. If you put back all the filth into your house, will you take it? No, 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 we don't want the filth. But these village people who are all farmers, they said, why look for to grow? <laughs> so, <laughs> what is filth for you is very precious for many other creatures particularly the plant life, isn't it? So, there is sufficient filth around you and within you, yes? And how to transform this into a fragrant blossom? That's a question, not how to isolate yourself, because you never can isolate yourself. Because what is on your mind? is not your choice. Whatever you have seen, everything that you're exposed to is on your mind, isn't it? Now, what will you make out of it is your choice. Will you smear this filth on your face and walk around in the world or will you make this lotus blossom? That's all the choice you have. Filth or no filth, you have no choice. Believe me, even if you go and sit in a Himalayan cave, dirt, dirty thoughts can come to you. You think they'll go away? You already tested them. <laughs> they'll not go away. But if you learn to transform all this into another possibility, then it doesn't matter what comes your way will not determine where you go. Right now for most people, what comes their way determines where they go in their life. That is why they're so paranoid and scared of their life. But if you know how to transform filth into wealth, it's an important part of the document, transforming filth into wealth <laughs> on a different scale. But I'm saying within yourself, if you know how to transform filth into wealth, what comes at you doesn't matter. Whatever comes at you, the worst things that come at you, if you know how to make the best out of it, then why do you distinguish something is filth? This is why Shiva is described in many ways. At one moment he is a Sundar Murti, the most beautiful human being. In another moment he is hideous. He is in the most ugly forms, in the most filthy forms. Why this is shown like, like this is to make you understand life has all these aspects. What will you make out of it? That's all the big question is. And that's the only thing this culture has always worshipped. 
Otherwise, your Ramas, your Krishnas, even Shiva himself, if you look at the worldly life of theirs, it's a big failure, isn't it? Rama is a serial disaster. <laughs> yes, even the property is taken. <laughs> Continuous disaster. Any one of those incidents happened in your life, you would be broken. Huh? Your wife kidnapped and your children taken away from you, then you fight a battle with your children, your kingdom gone. All these things will break human beings, isn't it? But whatever happened, he stayed above it. So we are not worship, worshipping him for his success. We are worshipping him because it doesn't matter what you throw at him, he still goes through it untouched.